yeah, it was good fun. I think definitely the first uh, good few hours, everyone was very overexcited and uh, having a really good time. But we, we did get a bit of sleep in the end. Um, yeah, it's overwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. You know, it's, I did London as an Olympic Games, and that was quite overwhelming. But I think just the onslaught when you get home from an away games of everyone all in one place is quite uh, incredible and uh, an amazing experience. Um, <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> it's not sinking in at all. I don't know. It still just seems like we went and did an event, uh, a sailing event, and we watched the Olympic Games when we were there. <laughs> and then I look at this, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> and in uh, we'd really encourage everyone just to get down to your local reservoir, uh, you know, sailing club, whatever. It, you know, there's nothing more fun than splashing around in water with your mates. Uh, and you know, you get then if you get dragged along and get involved in sailing for a lifetime, then amazing. But you really will have an amazing time. Um, it's a pretty unique feeling. Nothing I've ever done before. Getting off the plane, well, when we were pulling in to, for the plane to stop, we could see everybody already starting to gather outside, and a lot of the ground crew here in Heathrow, kind of, um, yeah, were ready to greet us. So we, when the plane doors opened and we all stepped off, it was overwhelming. Uh, kind of reminded me of the feeling of what it was like to win that medal because it's such a long time ago for me. I was in the first week and everything was over, uh, so that was a real nice experience again for just to go through the whole thing once again and feel that, that buzz again. Yeah, no, it was an absolutely incredible flight and we were really looked after and then to step out and see the amount of people out there was absolutely incredible. Because of it being on away games, uh, you're out there focused on what you want to do and you don't really know how much it's impacting on the UK back at home uh, until you actually start to step off the plane and, and see what's been going on here. It's an absolutely incredible feeling. Anything like that. I mean, I was lucky enough to be in first class, and then the hockey girls were in the, just just behind us. And after the national anthem, I don't know if you the seats, they were jumping up and down. We were stood at the front of the plane. We could feel the front of the plane slowly bouncing. Um, but then the rest of the flight was pretty chilled out. You've got quite a few tired athletes out there, and uh, just snoozed most of the way for me. Yeah, yeah. I think it's one of those kind of things you dream about. You think, oh, how nice would it be? And I've joked about it many times with friends, saying, oh. You're going to watch the TV because I'll be on the top of the podium. And mm. So I actually get to the top of the podium and have them four years' work uh, culminating 88.53 seconds in my case is just fantastic, such a great achievement. And it's so hard to put it into words, really. Uh, I think utter amazement, really. Um, we had um, no idea how well the games and the team had gone down back at home. And um, yeah, we got off the plane and there was a large amount of people and cameras and um, yeah, it's been a bit insane. I think it is sinking in, but um, it won't be long to, uh, you know, till I'm home and I've got my two boys and they're waking me up at six o'clock in the morning, you brought down to earth with a thump. Um, but um, no, it's all, um, it's all fantastic, but it's going to be nice to get back to life. They're very excited, yeah. Yeah, the four-year-old was not that fussed. Um, but uh, the seven-year-old is very, very happy, very excited, and um, just looking forward to seeing the medal. Um, to see the level of support that we got was just amazing. I mean, the, the fans and uh, everyone supporting us has just been is unreal. We've seen all this stuff in the press, um, in the papers, and heard of that, uh, but to actually get back and experience it, it's just like a big waft of wind hitting you in the face. It's like, wow, this is just amazing. It just makes it sink in that little bit more. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've, I've been watching Team GB bring in that massive medal haul and to finish second in the table since my competition. So it's uh, it's been awesome to watch and cheer everyone. Um, and within that, uh, it's uh, when I see an, when I see another medal coming in, I was like, I've got one there. I've got one there. So no, it felt really, really good. Uh, Watching people take a part in sport, sport plays a big part in life, military, whether it's watching the top of the car, to be able to watch people competing at the top level.